This is Coffee with God and I am Father Jose. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 16, verses 13 to 23. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. When Jesus arrived in the villages of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, "What are people saying about who the Son of Man is?" They replied, "Some think he is John the Baptizer, some say Elijah, some Jeremiah, or one of the other prophets." He pressed them, "And how about you? Who do you say I am?" Simon Peter said, You're the Christ, the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Jesus came back. God bless you, Simon, son of Jonah. You didn't get that answer out of books or from teachers. My Father in heaven, God himself, let you in on the secret of who I really am. And now I'm going to tell you who you are, really are. You are Peter. a rock this is the rock on which i will build together my church a church so expansive with energy that not even the gates of hell will be able to keep it out and that's not all you will have complete and free access to god's kingdom keys to open any and every door no more barriers between heaven and earth earth and heaven A yes on earth is yes in heaven. A no on earth is a no in heaven. He swore the disciples to secrecy. He made them promise they would tell no one that he was the Messiah. Then Jesus made it clear to his disciples that it was now necessary for him to go to Jerusalem, submit to an ordeal of suffering at the hands of religious leaders, be killed, and then on the third day be raised up alive peter took him in hand protesting impossible master that can never be but jesus didn't swerve peter get out of my way satan get lost you have no idea how god works the gospel of the lord Reflections on the Gospel according to St Matthew chapter 16 verses 13 to 23 Today the church celebrates the memorial of St John Maria Vianney a French parish priest He was ridiculed as not very useful by his fellow priests but that did not stop him from being humble before God and spending long hours every day in the ministry of reconciling people with God He is venerated in the church today as the patron saint of parish priests. Let us not forget to pray for our priests especially today through the intercession of Saint John Maria Vianney. Jesus and the disciples are in Caesarea Philippi, a beautiful city developed by Philip, one of the sons of Herod. This locality was so beautiful to the extent that it was formerly called Panias. the residence of the pagan god Pan and the goddess Nymphs. Philip developed a beautiful city here with all the luxuries and happiness of the world and named it Caesarea in honor of the emperor Tiberius Caesar. It is here Jesus chooses to question his disciples. King Philip offered all the luxuries and joys of life. What does Jesus offer? Can Jesus assure something better than Philip? So he questions, who do people say that I am? People's admiration for Jesus is undeniable. However, the respect and veneration are not sufficient to become a disciple of Jesus. Therefore, Jesus asks a more intimate question, who do you say that I am? 
When Peter makes the profession of faith in Jesus as the Messiah, the Son of the living God, he is unaware of what it implies. His understanding of the Messiah must have been of a God who behaved like pun and nymphs. Jesus renamed Simon as Kephas. In Aramaic, it simply meant construction stones. When Jesus calls him a rock or a stone, it meant that the profession of faith which he made today and the multitude of faithful will make in the future will form the living stones with which the church of God will be built up. The gates of hell, the powers of evil will not prevent the church from completing its mission of salvation. Peter also receives the keys and the power of binding and losing. In the days of Jesus, the scribes, the teachers of the law were regarded as people possessing the keys of the Torah because they knew the scriptures. Jesus takes away this key from them which they appropriated abusively and now hands it over to Peter. Remember, he is not assigned to be the doorkeeper of paradise. Instead, Jesus tells him to become an example to the flock, to open wide the entrance to the knowledge of Christ and of his gospel to everyone. The one who passes through the door of the word of God opened by Peter and the apostles with his profession of faith encounters salvation. Those who refuse remain excluded.